Hi everyone, this is Honeywell, and we're playing Stardew Valley, of course. Um, today... Um, what are we gonna do? We're gonna clean out our inventory, uh, first and foremost, but then we're going to start to rearrange our barn and chicken coop. Um, it's the last, last week of winter, and I want to kind of have, uh, the buildings in, like, a more permanent place, or at least closer to how I want them to look. All this is subject to change. I have no idea what the farm is going to look like yet. Um, that way when the spring comes around and grass starts to grow up, I can get a better idea of what it's going to look like. Um, and I won't have to like tear all the grass down to, to move buildings and stuff. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. It's going to be uh, purely about aesthetics. Let's drop off these... Um, Let's drop off these cooking ingredients just to get them out of our inventory. And we need to re. to put the diamonds in our crystallariums. Okay, those are cooking ingredients. Um, let's make 20 more pepper poppers, too. Why are we so slow? Because we need pepper poppers. Anyway, this is going to be a, a, uh, slow, a slow, nothing happening kind of episode. Oh, didn't we have more pickles over by, well, let's just get on the horse and, uh, do the thing we do. I see worms everywhere. <laughs> I'm like trying to incorporate them into the mushrooms and it just doesn't work because they're not mushrooms. So we're just gonna pile them up right there. We're gonna have to make another one um, just for the crafting achievement, so. And we're not going to fill these jars because if we did, they'd be out of sync with the others. Okay, now what we really, really, really need to get sorted is... Well, let's do this first. Um... is this bit right here. Um, I can't even pause this. Or can I like do this? That should pause it. Yeah, okay, we'll see how that, uh, how that goes. Uh, what I did, I put it in window mode and clicked off the game, which should pause it. So we can still see what is going on. Um, I want the the barn and chicken coop close together so I can uh, duck into one and go to the other. But I think I don't really like how... But then I can't move the camera. Um, I don't really like how... Um, how smooshed up down this way this is. So I think I want to move the chicken coop up to this side. Um, and the reason why this path was hugging this water so close was because all these rocks were here before. So I can move these uh, coops, kind of take up all of this, move this coop into here, and then route the path this way and still come out at the same place. Um... So yeah, so we're going to start taking up all of this stuff and uh, clear out the area of everything as much as we can so we can go to Robin's and play around with where these buildings can go. Like I still want it to be like to flow
you know, to be able to kind of like a, do our little farm rounds and have everything flow nice so it's not like, I don't know, fiddly, I guess maybe is the word I'm looking for. Do, what about this rock though? Because I'm going to be coming up around these trees. Do I want this rock in the way? I think that is going to kind of like impede the path, right? Or do I just path around it? I hate to take up this stuff that I've been saving the entire game. Do I want this stump here? I originally was um, thinking about taking up the beehives, which I'm going to, um, and putting the the chicken coop up here. Um, but I kind of like having the barn and the uh, the chicken coop uh, parallel to each other. want any uh, stray seeds messing up anything that I'm trying to do. You know what I mean? It's already 12 o'clock. <laughs> Is there anything here? I saw some worms and we can't even get them up. I want, I hope that's not going to be in the way. Um, but this stump might be. If I'm moving this chicken, this stump is going to have to go. Because I'm, the path isn't going between those two stumps anymore. It's going down, it's going around this stump. So, yeah. Do you think that is good? I guess we'll find out. This might be a two day process. Well, we can't move them tomorrow, but we still have a few more days before the end of winter to get this sorted. I'm still not sure how the the farm is gonna look because I really like the everyone's here, huh? I really like the look of I like the look of that weathered stone and I like like straight lines and for things to be neat and tidy. But I really like I think one of the nicest uh things of this game is the Would I be able to get through there? I think one of the nicest things of the game is... Is the grass mesh. Or I guess they're not meshes. The grass texture. That kind of fits in the, ne the neatest, right? don't hate this right here with the tree well that just looks dumb and then what if the the path came up through here that stone might go came up around here outside this log and then it would lead straight up to the front door. And we could put another little path 
that kind of like uh, shoots off and then we can put the uh, beehives on this side of the trees. We could kind of arrange them that way. I was thinking that I could feather them through the trees when the path went this way, but I mean, this is gonna be our barnyard now, so that would look stupid. So maybe we can, um, this'll be grassy. Maybe we could have a, like another path that comes off and arrange the beehives back this way in a field of flowers. The way I had, I kind of like got planned out that I would have like a road going straight along up this way, like down here to the grandpa shrine behind those trees. And then like a three tile road coming all the way down and then out this exit. But where would the field stop? And then I was thinking I could put um, like a little Junimo village down this way. Uh, maybe small crop fields just for uh, decoration really, not really to, to harvest our main fields. I do not know, but I think this is good, right? Right, let's do it. I did see the snowman you built. Your brother told me about it. <laughs> oh, I should have brought hardwood for uh, for Robin. Oh well. Are we, uh, didn't we get best friends with them? Yeah. We should go give um, Pam a gift and see if See if we can be uh, best friends with her too. Hey Lois, another year is almost over. It's the first year. I did. We had a uh, we had a very productive year. One point two million. It was a good year. I still like this. Hey, Pam. Um, I have, I do have a hog mm -hmm. on the farm. You're welcome. Yep, just like that. That's nice. So Linus, Robin, Demetrius, and Pam are maxed out. I should start carrying around uh, peppers for Lewis and Shane all the time. At least for a week, and then I'll know when they're done. But we have plenty of time for all of that. I think we're uh, moving through the content pretty quickly as it is. Okay, let's, uh, let's check out our new... So I put a pat... Um, where would I park? We park at the, uh, at the well. Run over to the chicken coop. No. Pick up eggs. Say hi to everybody. Oh, thanks for the roll. Very nice of you. Um, should we just... Let's just take these out of here now. Yeah. Since we're... Uh, it's going to be that kind of day. And we'll put them in the barn. If it becomes too much of a hassle, we'll... Uh, If it becomes too much of a hassle, we'll can always um, replant it. I don't want like another building though on the farm. Oh, 
for moving too slow. Hello. How is everybody doing today? Good? Good, I hope. Let's see, maybe, do we just put them down here? I don't want to get trapped in here by these stupid things. But uh, I guess we'll just put them down here. Eggs do let's, let's see if we can tidy up our inventory. Okay, one, two, three, four. Good. Oh, void egg. Okay, that's good. No. Start time, Kales. It's time to go to bed. Oh, a gold star wool. Look at that. I didn't know that was a thing. We have to um, we have to ship a wool. Maybe we'll ship that one for our collection. That's cloth, so it's probably that right there. Oh, how did we do? We're only too short two minerals, so that's pretty good. These are beach artifacts. This is a starfish, this is glass, bone flute. I think we can get these like little bits of bones in the mine, along with the dolls. This is a desert one. Hmm. No, it's still early days yet. Glad to see you're fine, Molly. Okay, let's so put all of this away and then figure it out. Um, this is going to go to the house as an ingredient. And I guess we'll just put these in there as cheese. Yeah. No. Good enough. And that still works out well. Did we collect those? We did. Now let's go look at our greenhouse. It should be absolutely fine. I think uh, the last day of the month is when our star fruit is going to come up. I'll have to go back and... Uh, and thing. It's like 10 days for, it takes like 10 days on, uh, no, less than 10 days, because you can get three harvests a month. Oh no, two of those you'd plant and harvest on the same day. Okay, yeah, so it takes 10 days for the star fruit uh, to mature instead of 13 with the deluxe speed grow. Um, this is the path. Mm -hmm. 
that I kind of liked and thought it would be uh, nice to nice to use. Along with um, this path. And I was also, I also liked the look of like kind of having like a border on it, but I think it just might be too much. do we have? Jeez. And then maybe we'll um, make a little path down this way and put the beehives around there. Let's not start it now. It's a guaranteed recipe to pass out. Um, recipe. Let's do that. Uh, what sort of things do you think we can cook? We just learned pumpkin pie, so I'm sure that's part of it. Cheese, mayo. I don't know what to bring in there. the fish in here. We'll see what we, we'll put these in the fridge and see what we can cook up. Let's see. Oh, no. Get that out. Milk. More cheese. We need pepper poppers. Let's just uh, go grab those. And what do we have? 20 gold star cheese? Let's make 20 pepper poppers. Oh, look, we can make stuff already. Okay, 20 pepper poppers. Uh, we've already made an omelet. We've already made a fried egg. We haven't made uh, mushrooms. We haven't made glazed jams. We haven't made pancakes or chocolate cake or bread. Um, how many breads do we need? We need three breads. So let's make three breads. Two, three. Um, we haven't made autumn's bounty or stuffing or plum pudding or artichoke dip. Pumpkin pie. Could the pumpkin pie be more unappetizing? <laughs> I honestly don't think so. What a... Jesus. Survival burger. Um, right, maple syrup. can we cook? A miner's treat and a roots platter. Hey, that's right. We're a sous chef. And now what are we going to do with all of this stuff? Well, Maru likes miner's treats. Evelyn likes chocolate cake. I think Jazz likes plum pudding. Lewis likes Autumn Bounty. Somebody likes Artichoke Dip. I don't know who. Someone else likes Survival Burgers. You know what? Let's, um... I hate having chests everywhere, but... Uh, 
for right now, let's um let's make a kitchen chest mm -hmm. where we can uh, shove all this food that we're cooking in. And we'll figure it all out later. Some of this we'll just sell, um, but all of the villagers like cooked gifts. So, and some of those are favorites of everybody, but I haven't really looked looked at that much. Usually when I go through, like I'll look at what I'm growing for the season. Like in the spring, I'll look at the spring crops and the spring forage, just to kind of get an idea of what I can do with the things and who likes them. Um, but I haven't really looked at, at the food yet to see what to do with all that stuff. The only thing I've looked for is luck food and speed food. Okay. Tomorrow, we're gonna have to do a little bit of farming. Um, we can have a path leading down to the, down to the water, right? What fields are we going to keep? I guess we're probably going to keep these two. I want to have um, like some cute fields, some cute farm fields for like uh, kitchen stuff and that mm -hmm. sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? I don't mm -hmm. know that it makes sense to have them so spread mm -hmm. out. It would probably look cuter too have them kind of like bunched up with bunched up like on like a little stone path I know it's getting late I know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um you know, like kind of like a little circle of beehives. Maybe. Mm Maybe I'm ridiculous and I'm going to pass out, even though I don't want to. Oh, and of course I still have two more beehives. <laughs> GG. Okay, well there you go have it. A completely unproductive day where the only thing that we've done was uh, tear stuff up and we'll probably uh, tear it up again before we're done. Um, but we're gonna get to bed early tonight. 1.40. Woo. Okay. 52,000. Not bad. Very nice. Okay, that is gonna end the episode. Thanks so much for watching. See you the next time. Bye-bye.